Using an additive manufacturing technology, laser cladding deposition has the potential to significantly reduce the cost of maintaining the rail system and enhance transport safety. It will enable manufacturers and operators of railway networks to develop and improve railway maintenance strategies, specifically for light rail, switchblades and monoblock crossing. Other benefits could include extending the service life of rails, special truck components, and reducing noise caused by rails. The project is being led by Associate Professor Ralph Abrahams from Monash University, who is an expert in metallurgy and have previously undertaken major research work on rail infrastructure. There is an industry partner, Laser Bond Limited, Principal investigator Thomas Schleffer is an authority in the use of laser cladding with laser bond. We will depend on our partnering organization, Yara Trams, to assist with and in service evaluation. Of course, none of this would be possible without the funding from the Australian Research Council. Our materials and engineering beamline, Covari Strain Scanner, will provide measurements of residual strain and stress in rail components that have been repaired using laser cladding deposition. These measurements give us information about the structural integrity of the component. Another instrument, the high-intensity diffractometer, Wombat, can give us information about the orientation of the crystals in the polycrystalline materials, which also impacts materials properties. And last but not least, the neutron tomography instrument, Dingo, provides 3D images of defects in the material. A generous grant from the New South Wales Research Attraction and Acceleration Program, topped by ENCRIS and ANSTO, allowed us to purchase a direct laser metal deposition system, often used for laser cladding repairs. The advantage of having the system is that it enables us to do in situ neutron diffraction and neutron imaging measurements while the laser cladding process is being performed. It will provide information in real time about the deposition and solidification processes that occur during additive manufacturing. In turn, this information will allow us to make recommendations to optimize the rail repair process. I can't wait to get started. Innovation in industry is going to be more important when Australia resumes business and services. <music>